Hello, hello, hello everyone! My name's Exotic Gaming and welcome back to another epic Pixel Gun 3D weapon review! Surprisingly enough, on my last video, quite a lot of you guys requested me to review this weapon. So here we are with the Beast Review! This isn't a new weapon, it was introduced two updates ago in the Halloween updates, but that doesn't mean it isn't good. In fact, it's one of the best special weapons in Pixel Gun 3D, and it looks absolutely amazing. So I hope you're hyped. I certainly am. Now we know the Super Chest Lottery was removed where you could get the beast, but hey, if you leave a like right now, they may bring it back, and you may have a chance to get the beast for yourself. So, like equals beast for you. Get on that. Anyway, stay tuned for the next review coming out today on the third eye, and comment which gun you want reviewed tomorrow. Anyways, let's do this. Going into the armory section and heading over to the special section. I was not lying earlier, it looks like a fantastic weapon. It is one of the coolest designed weapons in this game. I mean, it's this cool little monster's head on top of a futuristic gun, and it's just absolutely insane. Even in first person mode when you use this thing in a match, it looks really, really cool. This is a legendary special weapon with an efficiency of 26, 65 firing rate, 10 capacity, and an 11 weight. It shoots out these cool little green rockets with a poison effect to the enemy, and it has the piercing effect ability. You're looking at a two-shot kill to a max armored player, and that is by no means bad. This weapon gets the job done, and it gets jo the, the job done very, very well. I have gotten countless numbers of kills using the beast against enemy players, and it's just so much fun. You shoot these amazingly cool looking green blasts at an enemy, kind of similar to how the Dark Matter Generator's blasts look. When you shoot the Dark Matter Generator, it's this cool little purple blast, and it kind of looks like that except in green with this weapon right here. Like I said, you're looking at a two-shot kill to an enemy player. Sometimes if you see somebody, you might get a one-shot kill. But a lot of the times, I mean, as you all can see, you can kill a heck of a lot of people in a very short amount of time using this thing. Really, the only big downside with the Beast is the fact that this weapon has a very slow firing rate. So if you miss a shot, the person that you're firing at is probably going to kill you. So you need to have some level of accuracy when you're using this thing because as you've seen so far in this match, if I miss a shot, well, the person's probably going to be able to take me out. But having that poison effect is such a good thing to have with this weapon. That means even if somebody is pretty low on health, and they don't end up dying from that initial shot, the poison effect is going to end up killing them. And throughout this video, you're probably going to see people dying from my poison effect that I didn't even directly hit. A lot of the times you are going to get kill assists because sometimes that second shot isn't going to land on an enemy player. So that first shot will hit them, but that second shot will be the final shot usually from an, an, another enemy player. But I mean, as you all can see, guys, you can get a heck of a lot of kills, and a lot of the times you can get that piercing shot to work quite well with this weapon. That means you can hit multiple people with one single shot. Just because you fired at one person, if some person is standing directly behind the blast of the beast, they're going to get hit by it too. So you gotta stand away from the beast if you see somebody using that thing, because that blast will just go right through an enemy player. You can't hide behind somebody else and expect you're gonna be okay, because that is not going to work with this weapon. I mean, as you all can see, even people with the Judge stand no chance. And right there was actually a perfect example of how this thing just went right through another enemy player. They don't even stand a chance. I mean, this thing just, just wrecks enemy players. It's insane. Happy Stalker right here, he doesn't even stand a chance, and he's a Judge user. So, I mean, if somebody's using the Judge, and you're able to still consistently take them out with this thing, you're going to do a really good job using this thing, and you're going to get a heck of a lot of kills in a really short amount of time, and probably get some of the best gameplay you could possibly imagine for a special weapon in Pixel Gun 3D. Like I said, this weapon looks really freaking cool in first person mode as well. You can kind of see the monster's head going, firing at will, destroying the enemy players. And I gotta say, if I was on the receiving end of that blast, I would not be too happy. It's like, it's like the monster vomited. It's like the monster threw up this green glob and it just destroys the enemies. I mean, my god, it's like an alien. Imagine if an alien came to Earth and they had that sort of special ability. Humans would be wiped out in an instant. They just gotta eat some bad food and then, my god, they're just gonna vomit all over the place and every human being is toast. So that's basically kind of what we're working with here with the Beast. It's going to do a heck of a lot of really good kills, guys. And I mean, as you all can see, how many kills did I get in that match? 17. The gameplay doesn't lie. 
it's just such a fun weapon to use and I really I really do enjoy using the beast a lot it is one of my favorite special weapons now in pixel gun 3d and I truly think to the people that are watching this right now that did that person just commit suicide ah oh, look at this very clever but you can't avoid the blast of the beast unless whoa Unless that person just glitched through the wall, I guess that's perfectly fine. But this thing, guys, it just wrecks. It just destroys. It does such a good job killing basically everybody you come in contact with. And I'm not saying it's pretty much invincible. It's not like this weapon is going to kill everybody all the time, because there are going to be people that are going to kill you. But a vast majority of the time, you're going to have no problem at all killing basically everybody you come in contact with. Now this thing does not have area damage, that's something that probably a lot of people were asking, it looks like it might, considering it's this big green blast that you fire at an enemy player, but no it does not, if I try to fire at this guy right there, you can see he didn't have the poison effect hitting them, so you need to hit that shot directly on an enemy player if you do want to kill them, and I guess that's kind of a balancing thing with this weapon, if this had the two shot kill capability, and it did a piercing shot ability, and it had area damage, my god, this would be like one of the most overpowered weapons in Pixel Gun 3D history. But at least this weapon is not an area damage weapon, so it's going to limit the amount of kills you get because of that. So it's actually going to be a much more skill-based weapon in Pixel Gun 3D. As you can see right there, that guy actually died from the poison effect that my weapon had. And uh, as you can see, the poison effect works quite well. There was another guy right there that I hit directly on, and um, it actually is a pretty fast reload, as we just saw right there. That was like the first time I reloaded this weapon in this video, and surprisingly enough, for as big of a weapon this is, it has a very fast reload animation, so I'm pretty pleased at that. You have no problem at all reloading this thing and getting right back in the action when you're using this thing. You're going to get a heck of a lot of kills and not really need to worry about uh, reloading and then dying while you're actually doing that, so... Definitely don't worry about reloading with this weapon. It's really just that low firing rate that I said before. That's the biggest problem. The, there's going to be people that are going to be using maybe the laser type weapons in Pixel Gun 3D. There's that new solar or the Void Ray rifle that just came out in Pixel Gun 3D. You go up against somebody with this thing and you miss your shot. Yeah, they're going to take you out with the Void Ray rifle. It's pretty much a guarantee. So you need to be accurate when you use this thing. And if you're watching this and you're just like, oh, I'm not an accurate Pixel Gun 3D player, it's, it's hopeless. You can learn. You can learn using the other weapons that are similar like this in Pixel Gun 3D. There are a lot of weapons like this in the game. Some things like the Acid Cannon, the Shuriken Thrower, the Laser Disc Thrower, other weapons like that that are probably a lot less expensive than the Beast are going to have very similar effects to this weapon and you can learn with those weapons so eventually when you do unlock this from the super chest remember leave a like down below to get that um you will be able to use this weapon very very well very efficiently and be able to time when the shots actually land on an enemy player because it's a very very strategic type of weapon when you fire this weapon at a person from long range you have to kind of guess where you think that player is going to be they could be moving left and right, or they could be moving very, very sporadically, and you have to kind of see where you think that person is going to be. And when you fire your weapon, you have to basically just hope that it does end up hitting them. They could easily get away from the blast of this weapon, so it's not like what I said, it's not an invincible weapon in this game. It is pretty easy to avoid the blast of this. So if you use this in a map like Colosseum, like I'm in right here, you basically are limiting the effect of that long time shot, and it's really going to almost be an insta-shot weapon. Because in Colosseum, it's such a small map, it's pretty much the easiest map to use a weapon like this in. You could use this also in Silent School very well. It would be a very big hit mox, hit mox, hit box marker type thing. So people are going to have a very difficult time avoiding this in those small hallways in that map. And other maps like that are going to work pretty well. You're not going to want to use this weapon in a longer ranged map because it is not going to work very well in that. You try to take this thing into Paradise Resorts, you're not going to have a fun time. The Beast is not going to work very well in that. So keep that in mind. And now there's an ad, so I'll see you guys in a sec. So guys, we're joining into Silent School now, another really good map for this weapon here, and I kind of forgot what I was just talking about earlier, but I've basically covered most things I needed to talk about here. This hallway is going to be like your best friend with this weapon, as you can see. You just start firing down the hallway, and everybody is going to die. It's going to just destroy every single player, and you're going to get a heck of a lot of really cool jobs. Use, I mean, not jobs, not jobs. No, nobody wants jobs. You're going to get a heck of a lot of cool kills using 
using this thing, and uh, you're gonna have a fantastic time using the beast against basically everybody in the matches that you go into. Now, some weapons that are going to end up killing this. Probably the judge at close range, since that is going to be a one-shot kill. You're not going to do too well against the judge, so if you see somebody using that thing, your best bet is to try to avoid that person as best as you can and kill the other people that are not using that. But, you know, maybe if this guy is using it like that and they're not really facing you, then you're going to have a much better time. But like this guy right here, easy kills against people that are using the judge like that. You're going to have no problem at all getting a lot of pretty easy kills like that. It's kind of odd because it's almost like when the person dies, there's like this little yellow blast around them and it's a green sort of of firing things so I'm not w entirely sure why that's the case it's uh, it's a little interesting to say the least as you can see yeah that person like dissolved into yellow when the thing that I'm firing is green I don't know if that's like a little glitch or something like that but it's interesting to say the least but um, yeah guys you got to make sure you time where the shots are accurately because if you do not you're not going to get many kills with this weapon this is not a weapon that's going to be for everybody there are certain weapons from this most recent update that are literally for every single player in this game and this is not one of them you have to learn how to use this weapon you have to practice and over time you will be good enough to use this weapon and you're gonna have a great time once you do learn how to use it because it's it's so much fun guys i love it and i highly highly recommend using this thing if you do eventually get this from the super chest but other than that that's uh, that's basically it here i'm pretty satisfied with everything that's gone on in this video so far as you can see perfect example of how effective the little hall way here in silent school is you get multi kills and you don't even know who you hit you just fire it down the hallway and people just succumb to the mighty green blast of the beast it's just fantastic so yeah guys um overall rating for this thing i'd probably give this at least a 9 out of 10 is it a 10 out of 10 probably not there are a couple of other weapons that are probably 10 out of 10s for the special section i'd probably give something like the laser bouncer maybe a 10 out of 10 but this one is one of the best ones you can get in this game the only reason it's not 10 out of 10 is because it's not for every player in this game but after you learn how to use this weapon and uh, you can use this more efficiently it can become a 10 out of 10 weapon it's about as best as you can get for this game and it is freaking awesome that's all i have to say I, uh, I hope you guys did enjoy this, though, so I'd appreciate it a lot if you did left a like. It really means a lot if you guys did. Uh, it lets me know you guys want to continue seeing these types of videos on my channel. I've done a heck of a lot of weapon reviews in the near future. Not, not in the near future. Well, I hope I do a heck of a lot of them in the near future, but in the past, in the past week or so, I've done, like, probably more weapon reviews than I've ever done before, and uh, I hope it's something you guys have enjoyed so far. Make sure to let me know down below in the comments which weapon you want to see me review next, because it's all up to you guys. The one that is coming out later today is going to be on the Third's Eye. This one in the Third's Eye got the most amount of comments from my last videos that I posted. And, uh, well, for the next video, it all depends on what you guys let me know down below in the comments of this video and the video I am posting after this. But Beast, guys, is a beast. No pun intended. It literally is. Or maybe that was a pun intended. I guess, who, who really knows? Overall, I just love this thing so much, and you can definitely expect to see me using this more in the near future because it is fun, guys. It is a lot of fun. Look at this guy right here using his little judge. Doesn't even stand a chance because this thing is freaking awesome. Anyways, that's basically it for this video here, guys. It looks like everybody else is using the judge, and I don't really want to have to deal with a bunch of judge users right now. Um, they're all just sitting there in their little hallways using the judge, and you know what? I can't really compete against that, so I'll just end the video here. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode.